In 1995, Valley College had 9,254 students. In 2010, Valley College had 11,129 students. Number one, we're asked, how much did the student population grow? To determine the amount of student population growth, we need to find the difference between the number of students in 2010 and 1995. So to find the student population growth, we'll start with 11,129 and subtract 9,254. So 11,129 minus 9,254 is equal to 1,875, and the units would be students. So the student population increased by 1,875 students from 1995 to the year 2010. Number two, how long did it take for the student population to grow from the starting amount of 9,254 to 11,129? So to find how long this took, we need to find the difference in years from 2010 and 1995. So we'll take 2010, and subtract 1995, which is equal to 15, and the units here would be years. So it took 15 years for the student population to grow from this amount to this amount. Step three asks us to find the average population growth per year. To find the average growth, we need to take the change in the population, sometimes represented using this symbol here, which is called delta, and divide by the change in time. And we have this information from number one and number two. The change in the student population was a growth of 1,875 students. And the change in time is 15 years. Well, 1,875 divided by 15 is equal to 125, which means the average population growth per year is equal to 125 students per year. Now let's look at question four. We're asked to write an equation that could be used to predict the student population t years after 1990. So we'll find an equation in a sloped intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the vertical intercept, x is the input variable, and y is the output variable. But in our case, because the input variable is going to be t, the number of years after 1990, and the output is going to be the student population, we'll be using this equation in the form p for student population equals m the slope times t the number of years after 1990 plus b. So to write the equation, we need to find m the slope and b the vertical intercept. But the slope m is the constant rate of change, which in our case is going to be the average growth rate per year which we already found to be 125 students per year. So we know m is going to equal 125, so our equation must be in the form of p equals 125t plus b. But we still have to find b, the vertical intercept, by using the given information. To do this, we'll write the given information as ordered pairs, where the ordered pairs are going to be in the form of t comma p where again, t is the number of years after 1990, and p is going to be the student population. So because 1995 is five years after 1990, one ordered pair would be five comma 9,254. Now the second ordered pair for the year 2010, because 2010 is 20 years after 1990, would be 20 comma 11,129. So now we can use either of these ordered pairs, perform substitution into our equation, and then solve for b. Let's go ahead and use this first ordered pair when t equals five and p equals 9,254. So we'll substitute five for t and 9,254 for p. So we'll have 9,254 equals 125 times five plus b. 125 times five is equal to 625. And 
and now we'll subtract 625 from both sides. This would be zero, so we have b equals 9,254 minus 625 is equal to 8,629, which means the equation we can use to predict the student population t years after 1990 is p equals 125t, and then because b equals 8,629, we have plus 8,629. Before we look at number five, let's look at the graph of this equation as well as these two points on the coordinate plane. Here are the two ordered pairs from the given information, and we just found the equation of this blue line which passes through these two points. The slope of the line is the average rate of growth per year, and notice how the vertical intercept here does look like it would be 8,629, which we found algebraically. On number five, we're asked to predict the student population in 1993. So using the equation that we just found, because 1993 is three years after 1990, we evaluate our equation when t equals three. If we ever have a hard time determining the value of t to use, we can always take the desired year, in this case 1993, and subtract the base year given here as 1990. Notice how this does equal positive three. So we need to find the value of p when t equals three. So p is equal to 125 times three plus 8,629, which is equal to 375 plus 8,629, which gives us 9,004, and the units here again would be students. And then finally for our last question, we're asked to predict the population in the year 2015. Notice 2015 is 25 years after 1990, so we need to find the value of p when t equals 25. Again, we can also find 25 by taking 2015 and subtracting 1,990. So we'd have p equals 125 times 25 plus 8,629, which equals 3,125 plus 8,629, which equals 11,754 against students. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.